everyone and welcome to day one of our International Women's Day video series. I am here with the very first interview this week um, and we hope that these interviews will inspire you and get you engaged in the conversation around International Women's Day 2021. And the theme for this year is leadership. So today I'm going to be talking all things leadership as well as agility and adaptability given the last 12 months and what this has meant for many of the women in our network. So I am delighted to be here for our first interview with Radha Almaraj, who is from Facebook, and I'm going to hand over to her for a quick introduction. Well, thanks so much for having me. It's my pleasure to talk to you on this uh, occasion of International Women's Day. Uh, let me start with a quick introduction. Uh, as you shared, I work with Facebook. I manage uh, business integrity partnerships for the APAC region. I work towards keeping uh, the Facebook platform safe for all the advertisers and users across uh, the APAC market. Fantastic. Not a small role then. <laughs> <laughs> it's an exciting role. Oh, it's fantastic. And uh, it's, it's quite the responsibility as well for such a massive region. So that's awesome. And how long have you been at Facebook? What's your background? I've been at Facebook for over a year. Uh, in terms of my background, I've spent more than 14 years working in different tech companies. Prior to this, I uh, managed the SMB advertising business for Twitter for the APAC region and I worked at Google for quite a while and I was a part of the launch team at Amazon India and I worked in a couple of uh, established tech startups and have founded my own startup as well. Fantastic. So a seasoned woman in tech. <laughs> seasoned, uh, sure, yeah, that sounds uh, pretty cool. cool. <laughs> Awesome. So as a female leader, um, and as I mentioned previously, the theme for this year is leadership for International Women's Day. Um, let's get started by kind of talking about some of the qualities that you admire in female leaders. Um, what is it that you, you cling to and you think, wow, that's super inspiring. Um, maybe even referencing some of your inspirations or your mentors as well. I think uh, the servant leadership style is something that I'm a big fan of and the philosophy is that a servant leader puts the team at the forefront and it's all about making the team shine and uh, I feel women leaders do a really good job at servant leadership uh, because the natural strengths that women leaders have in terms of their emotional intelligence and their ability to really bring people together and create an environment of inclusion and uh, foster collaboration I think with all of these aspects uh, women just have uh, been so many women leaders that I've met have been amazing uh, servant leaders. So these qualities, uh, I believe, are so critical for an organization to succeed and for every individual to really uh, enjoy their career journeys and make the most of it. Mm, yeah, um, that's a really interesting, um, an interesting topic as well around servant leadership and it's definitely become more popular over the last kind of three or four years. I think, was it Nike's Shoe Dog book, they initially spoke about servant leadership, maybe I'm completely quoting that out of context, but no, I think that's, that's really key and I think a lot of that also touches on kind of compassion and empathy, right? Um, what do you think about those as traits that are typically associated with women leaders? Right, I think uh, all the traits uh, that are associated with emotional intelligence, be it uh, empathy or be it uh, the ability to offer a psychological safety in the team, to uh, bring people together and to really let and every individual bring their authentic selves to work and uh, be themselves. I think these are uh, things that women leaders manage to do very seamlessly because it's just a natural part of how women operate and how they think. And uh, these are truly admirable qualities that make a huge difference in really uh, bringing out the best of every individual in an organization. Yeah. yeah, awesome. Fantastic. Would you consider yourself to be a servant leader? I absolutely try to because uh, I believe in this style so much uh, that I have uh, been very deliberate and intentional about uh, being a servant leader and letting my team really shine in every day of my work. Awesome. Fantastic. Um, so I guess as a as a leader, but also just someone that is part of a very volatile workforce at the moment and a very volatile market, how has COVID-19 been for you? Has that impacted your leadership or your team in any way or even the women around you? You know, how has this impacted your, your work? I think COVID has been... Uh to say the least, super challenging for all of us and has been a truly testing time personally as well as professionally. 
uh, it has tested our resilience and our adaptability and our ability to really uh, deal with challenges uh, for me it's been no different personally as well as professionally the context has shifted and i've had to settle into a new normal and uh, reconfigure what things should look like on various fronts uh, i would say currently it feels like uh, we I personally feel like it's it's a bit of a difficult middle that uh, we are at because uh, right after the onset of covid where it felt like an adrenaline rush was really powering me through uh now it feels like the end is in sight uh with a vaccine but it's still not that close so it feels like the difficult mid- middle is kind of stretching and uh I am trying to uh, power through with the resilience that has carried me so far and I'm quite optimistic that uh, with the way all of us have responded uh, to the start of the uh, pandemic and the way we've all reconfigured our lives I do feel quite optimistic about uh, the way ahead until we get to the finish Mm. And how do you keep that optimism? Because um, I, I know, especially for some of the women I talk to, um, some have been really adversely affected in terms of uh, working hours, working ability. Um, many of them have really, you know, um, had to shift childcare and, and adapting to people sharing houses. You know, how do you keep optimistic during this time? I just feel like it's the only way to be, and. Uh, I also do not force myself to be optimistic. I do let myself uh just come face to face with the pain and with the challenges that uh, I face at times. And it's important to keep things real and be authentic to uh, the circumstances and the difficulties involved. Uh the optimism comes from a place of just being able to look back and uh, look at the distance uh, I have covered and all of us have covered and to find strength and resilience from there because uh we always when we look back i think all of us uh have a lot of things to feel proud of and there's a lot of energy to be derived and there's a lot of optimism sitting right there for us to tap into yeah yeah fantastic that's always great to hear and um what is the advice that you would give to women who are starting out their careers and actually i want to ask you two questions because you know you've got an, an amazing track record but what advice would you give to women starting out in their careers first of all and second of all what advice would you give to women who are looking to step into a leadership role for women who are stepping into corporate uh, when i look back at myself 14 15 years back when i entered the corporate i think i was really trying hard to be an alpha male uh, i f- i had a lot of conditioning that that was the way to succeed in the corporate uh, but i quickly learned that uh, the natural strengths I, i had that we earlier spoke about in terms of the qualities that women leaders uh, that really helps women leaders shine i felt like i had to really uh, tap into those and they were my usps to set me apart and make me shine vis-a-vis my male colleagues and there's a lot of value that i had to add uh, by bringing those natural strengths of mine to work so i would offer that to uh, all women who are stepping into their corporate journeys to really uh, feel confident in your own skin and uh, look at your natural strengths and look at your usps and feel comfortable about letting those shine and bringing your authentic selves to work and uh, not go with the conditioning or any notions that you he- see and hear around you in terms of what does it take to succeed in the corporate context the one advice i would have to offer to women who are stepping into leadership roles is to uh, have the confidence and being able to ask for things here i want to talk about uh, i want to reference what sheryl sandberg talks about in her book leanin uh, where she gives many examples and it's a fantastic read specifically she talks about how uh, women are taught from a young age that good girls do not ask for things and they do not demand things and they're always trying to play to the norms that society has created i think a lot of us carry that uh, well into our corporate journeys as well and as women are looking at stepping into leadership roles i think it's very important to learn to start asking for things that are rightfully due to you and uh, even if it feels like it's a push if you feel uncomfortable about doing that uh, just configure based on your style and uh, feel very comfortable about asking for things that you deserve and once you start doing that you'll be in a position to also ask for your team and the organization and i believe it will truly set you up for success fantastic advice yes Um I don't think we do enough of that. You said that before and often we're conditioned not to ask for too much. Um but hopefully this will inspire some women who are looking to step into that next role to ask 
to ask about those roles and to seek out those opportunities. And, um, you know, I watched one of your um, your interviews that was on YouTube, so I would recommend that to anybody that is watching this. I know that you did one in December last year, and you also spoke about negotiating. So, you know, asking for what you believe you deserve and, and being bold and brave enough to do that, I think is, is really, really powerful. That's very well summarized. Thank you. Awesome. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. That kind of wraps up our very short fire interview. I'm sure people might have questions for you. So I imagine they can just reach out to you on LinkedIn if they've got any specific questions, right? Absolutely. I look forward to that. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time, for your inspiration and for your open sharing as well. And uh, yeah, a very happy International Women's Day to you. Thanks so much. Happy International Women's Day to you as well. It's been such a fantastic, fun conversation that we've had. So thank you. Thanks so much. Cheers.